Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show how to trade stocks using the Interactive Brokers Client Portal. So just click on Login, Portal Login, type in your username and password, So in order to buy or sell a stock, you can go up here to the top to trade and then choose stocks. And this order entry form is very simple to fill out. The interface is quite nice. You can type in a ticker that you already know. If you don't already know the symbol, you can type in the name of the stock and it'll give you some suggestions. So if I'm looking for Tesla, it's T-S-L-A. And I can type that in and choose Tesla on a NASDAQ and it'll give me a summary of what the stock is doing today and I can buy and sell it here. Interactive Brokers does offer fractional shares. So you do have that option if you don't want to buy like an entire share that's worth $1,000. Uh, the stock I want to buy today is Richard's Packaging. So that's RPI.UN. It's a packaging company that's been around for like 100 years and it's got a pretty good record of revenue growth over time as well as earnings per share growth. So hopefully this will continue and the stock will go higher. Right now, the information shown here is delayed data. So if I want to see the real-time data, I can click on the snapshot. So this is what the stock is currently trading at. And on the right, I can see the bid and the ask prices. You can see it's a thinly traded stock, so there's not much volume here. The other thing with looking at a real-time snapshot, there is a one to three cent charge uh, every time you do it but you do get $1 waived every month. So as long as you're not like constantly trading and clicking on that snapshot, then it shouldn't cost you anything. So going back to the entry order form here, for the order type, instead of limit, I can choose market, which will get filled pretty much right away. Uh, stop and stop limits, but I'm gonna choose limit. And I'm looking at the bid price here, which is 60.25. So if I bid just a little bit higher than that, let's say uh, 60.3, then I should be above that bid price. So the sellers on top here will be more willing to sell to me than uh, these other people. And then time in force is how long I want this order to stay active for. So usually day is pretty good. So if it doesn't get filled today, I don't have to worry about what the stock will do like overnight or over the weekend. Good till cancel is just, it, it'll continue to stay active until I think it's like three months or something before IB cancels it. So you can do that as well. I usually go with day. And then profit taker and profit loss. This is if you want to lock in a profit if the stock goes up. So if I use profit taker, I can set a limit price of, if I go like $62, then it shows very small there. I will take a profit of $170. And what it means is if the stock goes from what it is now to $62, then it'll automatically sell that stock and lock in the profit for me. Same thing with the stop loss. If you don't want to lose too much money in case the stock goes the other way, you can set this up as well and you can do both at the same time. So a stop loss, you might want to go with like 58 just in case I buy it at uh, you know, 60.3 and it drops down to 55. Well, I can get out at 58 automatically. So if you want to, you can use those uh, tools there. So once everything is filled in, I'm going to click on submit by order here and accept. Okay, so once that order has been submitted, you'll notice there's a little red dot by the trade menu. So that means there's something new here. And if I click on that, I can go to orders and trades to see how my trade is doing. So this is the reminder again of the snapshot. So it says here, I have Richard's Packaging Income Fund, RPI. After I put in the trade, but I want to modify it somehow, maybe change the number of shares I want to buy or change my uh, limit price, I can hover my mouse over here to the right where the three dots are and I can click on it and modify or I can just cancel the order entirely if I don't want to make this trade anymore. Uh, alternatively, I can click on the trade itself. It'll take me to like a summary page. And down here, I can modify the order this way. So the stock price is now higher and my 60.3 is not going to fill. And I can use these uh, plus and minus buttons on that side to increase or decrease my limit price. I can just nudge those numbers up and down. Of course, I can also type in exactly what I want. Let's go 60.59, this should get it filled. And once I'm happy with this, I can click on Submit Modified Order, and that should get it filled. So once this is done, it says your order has been filled. 
click on done. And now in the trade summary, it says, I have bought 100 shares of RPI at 60.59. So that's a total payment of $6,059. And I paid a commission of $1 for that trade. And if I want to see it in my holdings, I can go up to the portfolio tab and go to positions. And it should now be in here. Any new trade should be accompanied with a little blue dot. Okay, so here it is, rpi.un, this income fund, bought it today. Current profit loss, minus $1, that's from the commission. And that's how you buy a stock. For selling the stock, you can use the same form, but it's just a sell order. You can also use this button over here, trade. And you can enter a stock ticker here. Let's go with Apple. And I'm going to choose stock. You can see it's the same uh, order entry form. You can buy, you can also sell. So it's clearly color coded. If I buy, everything's in blue. If I click on sell order, the color coding is red. Um, if you open up this drop down your account, it tells you how many shares you have right now. So I have 84 shares. So I can't actually sell 100. The most I can sell is 84. So you can use this or you can use trade stocks or options or whatever you want to buy and sell. You can click on trades and it shows your recent activities. If it's your first time using interactive brokers and you don't have any money yet, on the home tab, you can click on deposit to put money in and you can deposit money directly from your bank account into IB. It usually takes a couple of days, to, um, but it does get in there. And if you want to withdraw money, you can sell some stocks and you can withdraw. If you want to do any currency conversion, you can click on more. And over here, you can uh, do the same thing, deposit, withdraw, but also convert your currency. So I hope that helped and happy investing.